appears they didn't finish dying. But they got close. Damn. Cool new toy. I'll take it. I've been shut. Actually, it's Chinese, so it would probably squish me in half. Yep, it tried to. <laughs> you thought, bitch. <laughs> Alright, <cool. laughs> yeah, Maybe you can help me figure this out, because I don't know what we're missing. I think this would be where we find the finish off the code. Oh, they're shooting each other. <laughs> Stupid parrots. <laughs> one of them one. Yeah, it's fun. It's like bum fights with the curse. Vulture one here. Bike in on the waiver extraction. Fuck, run, 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 run. It looks a little crowded down there. Vulture one is inbound for extraction. Fucking healed that guy like four times. Nope. Yo, digger, digger, yo, nope. yo, 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 behind you. Fuck. You got three seconds, I'm sorry. I can't get you. <laughs> No. There's so many. Going the long way. But you're on the bridge. Watch out below you. I guess we've picked the wrong way to go somewhat. Fuck this in me. Fuck. Bleeding stopped. Warning. Nope. Vital signs critical. I know. Trauma stabilized. Death imminent. Emergency medical. Come on, run, 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 run. Ah. <laughs> I see what the, that means, that perk means now by uh, you get a boost to your speed rather than when you get whacked, it's like an instant, like, slow. You get full on staggered. I think I'm dead unless someone comes by with a bot, but I don't think they are. There's so many of them. This is Vulture 1. All troopers accounted for. Alive I'm or sorry, dead. I tried. Turn into base. I just couldn't make it. <laughs> I should have kept going right, I feel like, and then found a way to jump up. Oh, that was rough. There's so many. Forty-five drones, eighty-six warriors, uh, two gunners, three tigers, one grenadier, healed fourteen allies, revived five allies. <laughs> okay, apparently, once you become a pilot, you become Super Saiyan. Punch away all my problems. What diplomacy? <laughs> wow, that was the easiest slide ever. I didn't even mean to do. <laughs> the king wishes to greet you. I punch the king. <laughs> Dead. 
Yeah, so the cloak doesn't work very long, so it's kind of useless. Very good. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, the first grenade was. Okay, cool. Hi! Oh, God! She did, did say jumble jump offline. <laughs> This game's kind of easy mode once you get a freaking helmet. Apparently, that's why everyone wants the helmet. You become a super sand man. One second, I got a text. Mom sent. Is that cake? Oh, no. That's beans. Ooh. Apparently, we're getting a Thanksgiving dinner before our Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. Okay. The jump kit. It's like an exosuit. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what it feels like. As soon as I got the helmet and jump kit, I was suddenly uh, all powerful. These poor guys. I have bullets. You don't stand a chance. I don't even need this jump kick to kick your face in. Crap, I keep forgetting. I did it again. I'm not counting it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Super drugs, yeah, exactly. I got stim packs. I'll just, I'll just kill you off. Okay. Should work fine. I don't understand it. Half you guys have the jump on me, so good, and then you can't even seal the deal. You guys suck. Why aren't you guys militia? And I'm the government. Gotta shoot like a bunch of Nancy's. He's dead. Oh, yeah, I want to try that new gun. Okay. No, you won't know when I do this. Unless it shoots all. I feel like this would work better against robots. Maybe there's another way around. Oh, there is another way around. Aha! Hey! Oh, right through the nose! Right through your nasal cavity! Apex Predator achievement unlocked. <laughs> I was just saying, I thought I was a predator. Cool. I know there's one down there. You drop on his face in a second. Ooh, thank you. I will take that. What's this one? You aren't an OMG. Uh, what is it though? 32? Alright, cool. Good enough. It has two more bullets, so it's more worth my time. Well, 14! Hostile pilot! Everyone tighten up! North visual! I thought I heard two. Night night, princess. <laughs> Seventy-five meters. All right, cool. Double jump online. I feel like she's gonna walk in right behind me, kind of thing. Nice. I kind of want to put everything back how we found it. <laughs> I stopped diving. <gasps> oh. Ah! Yes! 
<laughs> Success! I'm the best around. Nobody's ever gonna keep us down. I think the other game I woke up. He's gone. Check on that last one I killed. <sighs> what do you have on him? Looks like a whole lot of nothing. There we go. Crap! Well, I found the loot, right? <laughs> Aww. Yep. Yep. You just a bunny hop or something. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. How's everyone doing? All right. We are about to embark on a journey. It ain't to the center of the earth, but it might feel like it. We are about to explore the pit. So we're going to start with uh, the responders and see what they need. Let's get directly. Oh, sorry, I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Nope, doesn't want to come. It just wants to sit right there. Just right in my face. Ah, okay. Anyways. As I was saying, let's get directly into it. It shouldn't crash today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the fucking capture card lately. Like, it's just taking craps. <laughs> Gotta stop having games full screened, I guess. I think it's messing with it. Alright, let's check that damn shop. Let's see. Mm, more yummy caps for me. I'm gonna eat them. All right. Um, oh, I did forget to put that I'm going live for all the peeps. With the beeps and the boops. Let's get right into it. We'll see uh, what kind of shenanigans we can do with the responders. I just know the last thing they said was something about going to the pit, and I was like, I'm going to hold off on this one, but thanks. Sigh. <sighs> Hungry, am I thirsty? What's going on? Well, it ain't satisfying my thirst. A 
must have collected most of the water yesterday before I left. water situation. AP regen 50% may cause blackouts, ages into vintage Nika Shine. Nice. There it goes. Now it's letting me drink. Think about it. Do 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 do. Ring yep. You ring. <laughs> Well, it better cause a blackout, or else it would have been a waste. Yeah, I'm especially with the amount of radiation you're getting. <laughs> Radiation, my favorite. <laughs> Headhunter's head cheese. Wasn't that the like gross one? Wait, why did it say I have it if I don't? Uh oh. It's like glitched out. Gotcha. All right, before we go on our journey, we go to the responders, we will take a quick nap <laughs> for that bonus XP. And I don't know if you can get into this channel, uh, Panda. I haven't done it in a while. I was just trying to see who has permissions. But I think it automatically mutes you if you're in it, so I'll jump out channels on the um, Discord. Yeah, I forgot to set an alarm because I was waiting for my phone to charge up enough because I let it die before bed and I was like, damn. And I was letting it charge up enough so I could put an alarm on uh, last night and I just passed out before that even happened. <laughs> Actually, no. This one should be fine for you. It's, I think, mod chat that wasn't... I forget. There was one that it didn't let people talk in. Because what would used to happen is sometimes I'd play things like Borderlands. And there'd be some dork in there that would uh, be really annoying. so different when you aren't attacking at all. Oh, God. I don't miss that guy. Whoever that was. I can't remember. But they kept wanting me to play it their way, and so I'm like, no, this is my playthrough. I'm trying to beat the game as fast as possible with my lowest level possible. And, like, I beat it at, like, level 20-something or 30-something. And I was super excited, but the guy was just, like, really upset that we weren't playing his way. And it's like, you came to join me. <laughs> I'm not trying to do every side quest out there. I'm literally just doing the main quest for the first game. And then the second game, I did everything. But it's just because I wanted to breeze through it. It does work fine? Okay. I haven't heard a single quack, so. <laughs> Alright, got all my magazines. <laughs> that works, that works. Nothing here. Here. Oh, is there like a way I could build a shelf that I can shove all my little chest pieces on? I don't know why I was looking at my inventory, if that makes sense. Oh, I got new stuff. Doors, walls, roofs, doors, generators, display case. Oh. Displays. Uh, 
Magazine Rack. Beerstein. Nice digs around here. I hope we can stay. Perfect, but it will be placed. <laughs> Bars open, ladies and gents. Got the good stuff right here. Just pawns. Tell me I somehow like trashed the pawns. Did I grab them? Oh, I did. Okay. Take out those ones. And then there's the queens, so it makes sense. I wish I could set them up on a board. Like, that'd be awesome. Don't. 
than the last one. I guess I know what I can do with this room. This could be like my display room. Gotta protect room. what we have. And uh, you know, it's worth it. Got my stuff. Yeah, those are all the pawns at the end. <laughs> you get the knights' rooks. think we're ready. Let me just double check that I don't have any scrap on me. Oh, I forgot to put the bishops up there. <laughs> I was wondering, like, there's one piece that I feel like I didn't do, and I can't remember which one. Tell which pawns it is taking from. So I'll take them all. Bishop, bishop, bishop. Doesn't get any better than this, Beckett. Okay. Just need one more. hate when the old one is already there, so it kind of doesn't tell you where it can sit. There we go. That should be a little bit... Cool. Cool. Hey, do you remember Underworld? So, uh, making sure my mods worked yesterday for, what's the grand finale? Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Shoots an additional projectile and something else. Let's see, what does it do? Man, oh man, off the cams. Surrounded by friends. Loading. Shoots an additional yeah, projectile. This is life. 25 damage while aiming. Increased damage by 10% and explodes with fireworks. That's the one I was trying to read. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Um, Eddie's for the Eddie's <laughs> or something. Um, yeah, so my character, I realized yesterday, looks a lot like the uh, main character from Underworld, Celine. Or the main character from the other Underworld movie, uh, Rise of the Liking. <laughs> or like a good combination of the two. It's hard to decide. She definitely looks like famous actress <laughs> material. <laughs> yeah, I had to play some of the games so I can free roam a little bit and uh, figure out what I did. So I just skipped all chat and stuff. Played for like two hours to 
get to the combat part. I was like, okay, everything seems to be working. Nothing's broken. Good to go. Yeah, it took me a total of, I want to say, 12 to 14 hours to finish modding the game. When I messaged you, I started. When I uh, went to bed was when I stopped. So that was like 4 a.m. <laughs> it was horrible. It's, it's always the important mods that never work, yeah. I put in a bunch of clothing mods. That was like the bulk of what it was. It was the, uh, one of the mods had knocked out like red. Um, oh, how are we going to accommodate so many guests? They aren't even paying. That uh, red, red M or whatever it's called. or Basically, yeah, it wasn't wanting to even like run like I would press start and it would just be like it crashed would you like to send a report and it's like it didn't even open <laughs> so that took me like two hours to fix and then the rest was just kind of time consuming and then play testing everything seems to be working so we should be good I'm thinking about uh, if it works perfectly perfectly I'm going to make a copy of it and move it over to somewhere where even if there's an update it won't touch the game but I don't know how well that can work We'll see. Change your mind, darling. All right, Orlando. Interested in helping the responders, after all? Yeah, you professional middleman. <sighs> all right, we talked about all this, and uh, I don't remember. So, the responders Indeed. have a vertebrate. Isn't that marvelous? They salvaged it and painstakingly repaired it. It's fully functional now. Plus, it sounds like they're I was they're very on a pleased voice. to be able to contribute to this effort in my own small way. If you wish to see it, it resides on the roof of the refuge between flights, along with its charming pilot, Ms. Lennox. <laughs> Linux. I don't want anything called Linux near me. Thank you. <laughs> that shit's gross. I can't get this game to work on Linux and stop using Linux. Have a Windows PC just for your gaming. Stop dragging the rest of us down with you. <laughs> Who are they the call allies? themselves the Union. Something of a resistance movement, I understand, against more aggressive forces. One of their representatives is currently staying with us, a Mr. Skippy Rorich. Delightful with man. A dumb free a name, but all right. Uh, the Pit, that's a grim nickname. Judging by what I've heard, it's an accurate one, sadly. Pittsburgh was bombed quite severely during the war. The poor individuals still living there have renamed it to better reflect its dreadful circumstances. You know, I used to live in Pittsburgh. And knowing that, at least in the Fallout universe, it gets nuked to hell, I'm glad I moved. There's no problem too big to solve. <laughs> oh, team. Okay, yeah, sorry. Let me do that real quick. I am professional streamer, I swear. All right, there you go. It is up. Change your mind, darling. <laughs> Judging see, the poor individuals this? still living. Yeah, okay. So what is it they need? Well. They'll be better able to explain the details, but I believe they're looking for fighters, actually. Their contacts in the pit are in something of a desperate situation, it seems, against a dangerous enemy. I hate the thought of you putting yourself in such danger, but it does appear to be for a good cause. You don't even know me, Orlando. The danger is me. <laughs> Let's say I'm in. What's oh, next? Oh, you're terribly brave, aren't you, dear? Imagine if we all had such courage. Now, darling, before anybody bundles you off, the first thing you should do is introduce yourself to some of the responders. I just so happen to know a few in need of more local assistance, and helping them will earn you the other thing you'll need. That other thing, of course, being the ultrasite battery cells, which fuel the vertebrate. Ultra cells, if you prefer. How are the folks at Foundation doing? Okay, so I wasn't paying attention. What do they need? Oh, they've really gotten set up here. 
If I'm going to the pit for them, shouldn't they just give me the cells? In an ideal world, darling, I'm sure they would. Sadly, this is not that world, and any reticence on their part is understandable. I don't want to speak for the responders, but I believe they may also see this as more for their union friends than for themselves. Your assistance with their more immediate concerns will ensure everyone benefits. Isn't that a good outcome? I don't know what it is about you, but I don't like you. I've been thinking about it ever since I first laid eyes on you and heard you talk about being the best uh, middleman you can be. You kind of seem like scum. <laughs> You're just a little scummy. You might not be all the way scummy, but you seem a little scummy. All right, ultralight battery cells. Where are they getting those? Why, from me, of course. Rather, from the management via me, that is. When management heard the responders were restoring the vertebrate, they wished to help. They provided the ultracells, and I suggested dead. them to the responders as an alternative means of fueling like the vertebrate. Her management instructions, I distribute a quantity <laughs> to see, certain individuals to regularly. <laughs> management feels this encourages collective decision making rather than stockpiling. <laughs> I'm That's sure so they'd creepy. be willing to part with them in exchange for your aid. All right, all right, I'm down. Shut up. Stop taking long pauses. Wait, I discovered one of those ultra cells somewhere. I thought it was unique experiment. I could not possibly speak to your experience, dear. It sounds remarkable to make such discoveries. All I can tell you is that the management provides them for the refuge. Regrettably, that is as much as I know of the matter. I might wager that whomever was behind the ultra cell you discovered likely shared similar contacts with management at some point, but who can say? That miscreant from Kratos scratched my if you troll supply of cells, why don't you just give me what I need? My dear, you must understand. Much as I would like to, my responsibilities do not permit me to do so. I am but a humble employee of the management, and I distribute their resources as instructed to the letter. I hope you will not begrudge me my Mr. loyalty. Ripper, I find myself quite fond of you already. I hate middle management. I hate middle management. I hate middle management. <laughs> All right, okay, so <laughs> who do I need to help? Our lovely Ms. Rucker is the closest thing to a leader the refuge has, though I believe she's less than comfortable with the title. You can find her in their headquarters, beyond the dining area. The darling chef, Miss Rousseau, needs some assistance in the yeah, kitchen, we're more I than hear. A team. We're family. And Miss Wagner, <laughs> over in the common area, is looking I for donations. I hate companies that say shit like I'm that. I'm sure your generosity like, I know what you're trying well to do, and you're not manipulating me into giving two shits about you people. To that level, at least. Like, I'm not going to work extra shifts for you. <laughs> or what have you. Like, I'm not killing myself for this company that's ready to replace me. If, like, I break a leg, they'll fire me and then replace me. They tell us what all of those construction <sighs> workers are up to. All right, I'll talk to them to see what they need. Wonderful, my dear. I'm certain you will be a tremendous help to them and the refuge. When you are finished with each of them, I recommend you speak with Mr. Skippy Rorich, the pit union representative. I imagine he'll want to discuss the, the situation in the pit with you before you decadent. embark. Don't listen to any I'm kind of curious what Do we're going to... Do feel gonna... free to visit me at your leisure if you wish to chat. Sure, Elena. I have an office in the management wing. You can't miss it. All right. Bye. Um, Helping do you remember is our chief mission. the weird little things cool in the pit are just from a nice bonus. Fallout, what, 3? Or was it New Vegas that had the pit? Which everyone had the pit. Um, there was those troglodytes or whatever they were called. The little little fucking creepy bastards they weren't feral ghouls they were like worse these creep me Mr. out as a kid Ripper somewhat but uh to organize it was three stamps. nothing else um oh if only he would dust those shells God, i wish his. the ai in here weren't so well, goddamn loud gems laying around here. constantly um oh AI I interest you fuck, in i forgot what i was saying all these people won't shut the fuck up for two seconds 
Yes, can't think of I'm anything. Welcome to relate Noisy their bastards. problems if desired. These robots sure make my job easier. Hey, refuge dailies? No, yeah, go time. fuck yourself. All of those can get off my screen. Okay. Now where do I need to go? <laughs> it's not even marking it anymore. I want a pirate hat. So this is a place that's Oh, I just thought about it. If we if know someone who about, has no the place pirate to go, hat, the they can make it for me, Flatwoods. and then I don't have to spots. like buy it. We could really <laughs> do some good trading with the White Spring. I think. Could be wrong. Uh, complete code blue. Oh, it wants me to do those. I don't want to do daily quests. You fuckers are fine. I heard there's a chest set around here if you ever want to play. Uh, I could do the code blue first. That seems to be easy. The decor might be a little uh, ostentatious. To gain nice the white to make it me do daily. This time of year. Could you imagine? Good afternoon. Lunch is I could now really use a drink. Served. But I say this place so actually looks really job. nice compared to how it used to look. The potatoes here taste amazing. Our so Lando fresh and charming. only a few rats. To be honest with you. I'm not really sure why they're helping us. Hey, you, rocker. Hey, fucker. Hey, fucker. Turn around. Well, there she goes. Like one of your strong She's suits. just kept picking up the keyboard. Uh, uh, the, 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 with the, best of them. But the board, you. looking at the boxes, well, looking at me, <laughs> putting it back down, then looking at me. A lot of here with sickness we don't understand. Fucking hate And injuries we don't know how to treat. What we need oh, more you than can't anything be is oh, no so lame. So I propose we trade. I thought it was What smart. I got that I don't need for what you need that you don't got. I've heard you're looking ahead into the pit. Are you tired of and the only safe way out of Appalachia is that metal bird Lennox has perched up on the roof. And what keeps her in the air are those ultrasight cells Orlando keeps locked up. So, that's the deal. You bring back medical information that'll help me figure out how to help these folks. And I'll get you all the juice you need. So when do I get to be like, hey, I was a responder before you all. You don't mind a trip over to Cranberry <laughs> I'm a fire bowl. breather, motherfuckers. So, how about it? <laughs> what are the information you're looking for? Now, this one might be tricky. Watoga Emergency was almost entirely run by robots. But even robots had to tell their patients how to take care of themselves once they left the hospital. What we're looking for there is any record of that information uh, so we can I'm do the same for our patients here in the rest. So, what do you say? Want to help the responders make a difference? Sure. Nice. Well, let's get to it then. Anything you're able to find, go ahead and bring it back to our lead medic. I'll let her know to look for you. Good luck out there. And if you ever ignore me again for your stupid clipboard, we're fighting. Here to lend a hand, or because you need a hand. Either way, the responders are here. I was for out you. scavenging for food earlier, only had attacked by Scorch once. You're I'm welcome. It's because me and Panda yeah, kill all the Scorch. I'm extremely lucky in here. A safe haven filled with people safer. trying to help others? <laughs> it feels like I've died and gone to heaven. Or hell. It's been sunny all week. I love it here. I heard about what happened Wait, in Morgantown. Wait for one scorch to get inside. I know it was way back. <laughs> Killed them I'm all. glad they chose to send me somewhere Well, safe. hello there, stranger. Pleased to meet you. Good I'm Sophie, feet. Sophie Wagner. Look around. The refuge. Quite a place, isn't it? I mean, sure, fancy pants, golf club, resort, that's nice, but I'm talking about the refuge. A haven for the lost, the dispossessed, the hungry, and unfortunate. A monument to our ability to have compassion for each other. Isn't it grand? Isn't it worth preserving, building, growing? I mean, it's neat. <laughs> if that's what you're asking. What did you break over there? Leave her alone for two seconds and she fucking explodes things. <laughs> There it was. That's a bit much for a refuge camp. Uh, actually, I'm actually already in the responders. Sort of. Well, Why'd you say I sort of? You've stolen you around Ballard before, turd. So, uh, 
Glad to have you. But I wasn't trying to recruit you anyway. I'm actually more in the material support end of things. Scouting for volunteers isn't really my department. Yeah, Broful went stolen valor. I mean, the responders, kind of. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it is a great thing to see. Yes, exactly. You understand, I can tell. A future filled with people supporting each other, regardless of background or history. It's always good to meet someone who can see the big picture. Now, how'd you like to be a part of it? Ah, uh, sure. I'm sold. Let's go. Now that's what I'm talking about. People supporting each other. You've got the right spirit. Rucker's put me in charge of running a bit of a donation drive. Have you met Rucker? She's amazing. You should. <sighs> yeah, I met Rucker. She's annoying. It might annoying. surprise you to know an operation like this is always churning through supplies. We work hard to keep things in stock, and that funny Orlando character does their best to help out as well, but well, we still have shortfalls. So here I am, asking generous folks such as yourself to help us fill Check in those gaps and keep the refuge the running. So, uh, hang around, ask for charity. Folks don't I prefer to think of it as guys. mutual aid. Joins We're a community, difference. pulling our collective resources so that nobody has to go without. Charity is more like the well-to-do, buying a clean conscience by giving away their table scraps. And it's not just hanging around. I need to get the donations packed, stored, logged, the whole nine yards. Rucker's got a real quartermaster's mindset. So you better believe she wants it all squared away properly. Okay. Very chipper. Oh yeah, I guess I am. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Why shouldn't I, I be? There was something wrong We're living in the aftermath of the apocalypse. No. But here we all are in a place filled with people dedicated to helping each other. You ask me, that means we're pretty dang lucky, right? A lot to be excited about. Happy even. Thanks, Busy. Hello there again. It's Wasteland Willie. And it's time for exactly do you need that? Let me check my notes. I got Rucker's been in a tizzy because we just don't have enough wood to keep up. It'd what? be a big help if you could donate maybe 50 pieces of scrap. One less thing on Rucker's mind, you know. You want 50 wood? Thing in it for me? Uh, yeah. The warm glow of providing aid to your fellow person. The joy of supporting a noble and worthwhile cause. Isn't that great? Uh, okay, if that's not enough for you... Rucker's given the okay to dole out some of the ultrasite battery cells we've got to spare. We use them to power the vertebrate on the roof. They use it to fly cool. aid missions to places outside that. Appalachia. I got a feeling you might be helping out there. So I bet you'll find a use for these. Yeah, I'll need that for a ride, supposedly. Alright. That's okay. I'll Who just carries that around in their pockets or whatever, right? I'll be here all day, though. If She's you like, give me back, 50 cords bring of wood. It by later. <laughs> if you can, of course. You know where to find me. All right, you really I need a stash make my box. You did. Pretty sure there's one downstairs. All right, at least this one's an easy one. Oh, stash right next to me. <laughs> yeah, fucking wankers. I could really use a drink, but Rucker wants us sober on the job. Scraps. Yeah, eight. Where's my bolt with scraps? Bolt wood. How much does she want? Folks don't 50. join the responders okay, so for calves. I two. They join to make a difference. Look, I ain't joining for caps, but, you know, if I get some, you know, that's nice. I ain't gonna turn them down and be like, no, I do it for charity. Charity doesn't pay the bills. That just supposed to be the safest place <laughs> around. But I've heard of the monsters that lurk in the woods here, and I'm not so sure about that. Oh. If I unbulk them, I think I have to go to a station and do that. Yeah. Glad to see you've returned. 
Oh, wait. Are you no, ready to donate? Crap. Okay, yeah. That's I need okay. to break it down. Come back if you're ready to donate. Where can I break it down? Need anything? I'm guessing downstairs. Day off. I win. Strike. <laughs> the potatoes here taste amazing. So fresh oh, yeah. Do you need them for anything? Because apparently they're all made of stuff I I need for scrap. <laughs> all right, cool. Leave it to Panda to bring a gun to a bowling fight. Orlando is very charming. All right, let's go find the spot to break things down. If you're caught out and about with no place to go, the stairs. I don't remember where I am. <laughs> I'm gonna start punching. <laughs> if you hang around, have you ever had nothing to do with so much? It's, it's been sunny all week. I love it here. I asked Tannen for a drink on the run. They all won't shut the fuck up. It's so terrible having this many AI nearby. And they all want to talk as soon as you get in range. Oh, here's one. <laughs> 50 out of 50 wolves forever. It's been so long since I've had food with actual flavor. Glad to see you've returned. Are you ready to donate? Yes. Here's your you board. do? Amazing. Thank you You're so welcome. much. This is going to be a big help. I'm pretty amazed. It just so happens I got a little something for you as a reward for your generosity. Rucker set aside some ultrasite battery cells I can spare you from the ones the White Spring management doles out. Fancy a vertebrate trip? They're not much use for anything else, but I got a feeling you're gonna need them. See? Mutual aid. Everybody wins. Thanks so much for the help. Drop by again. If I know Rucker, I'll be looking for something new every day. Take care of yourself. Okay, bye. Okay, so I got 25 of the cells. I wonder if they have any chems laying around here. Alright, let's do record or success, whatever. Speak to Esme. <laughs> if anyone recognized that Open name from Twilight, cheap. you're my well, people. <laughs> that fucking nice name. <laughs> Their fucked up face. <laughs> You know, I never really liked Twilight until I realized, like, I watched them over the years as they came out. Never read the books. Those movies are fucking hilarious. Like, some people probably, you know, it trips their trigger, but for me, it's just funny. All right, Esme. Bonjour. My name is Esme Rousseau, but most people around here know me as Chef Esme. We've had some representatives from Foundation and Crater come here seeking assistance with the recent influx of refugees. I thought that we could help them out by providing some food for their people. I've started a pot of venison and tato stew, one of my newest creations. Would you be able to help me finish it? Like, how is that a newest creation? And that's the best you got is venison and potato soup or stew, as if that hasn't existed for 2000. Okay, fine. I'll help you how cook. How wonderful! I can't wait to whip up something delicious for everyone. The stew requires tatoes, venison, drugs, salt, maybe. black pepper, and carrots. The ingredients can be found in our pepper. storage area. Your job is to grab the ingredients no, and put them in before the stew burns. Oh, shit, okay, it's a time trial. Gotcha. Super! Where's your Let's storage you start area? By stirring the stew, which will help keep it from burning. Oh, Remember gotcha. to continuously stir during the cooking process. Um, what kind of drugs do you need? I have berry mentats, buff out, stuff like that. I got medex. What you need? I got a dick doll, I got antibiotics, I got blood packs. What do you want to shove in your body? Make sure you, you have Psycho for a question. I do not have Psycho on me. 
I did yesterday, but I sold it. Stir the soup. Stew. Fantastic! Let's get the first of the ingredients and prepare them. You're looking for carrots, potatoes, and these yeah, robots sure awesome. make my job easier. Robot butlers? This is a refuge or a palace. If you see anyone struggling out in Appalachia, be sure to tell them about the White Spring. Is extremely rewarding, but boy, Got potatoes. Hell yes, I was born in a barn. Else. Always make sure to boil your water. There's before times you've got to accept the cards you were dealt. Learn to make the best of it. My friend, I hope you will stop by and join us for dinner sometime. Wait, why are you talking? No, put it in the soup. <laughs> there. All right, so what, now I go find the next ingredient? Oh, okay, I Good think that's what's evening. going on. Here for dinner. Please feel free to seat yourself. That looks like salt. I'm not letting me grab it. Fine venison and fine carrots. Carrots. Okay, stir. A safe haven filled with people trying to help others? <laughs> It feels like I've died and gone to heaven. Or hell, if you look out the window. All right, now, venison. Where's the venison? Where's the venison? Is that venison? No, it's empty. Oh, meat! Where's the meat? Oh, <laughs> I was looking in the complete wrong direction. It's not letting me pick it up. I'm beating the E key. There it goes. Good evening. This blood leaf really dinner. elevates the Mirelurk meat. Please feel free to I gotta to chop the uh, carrots, pound the venison. Okay. Wait, no. Wants it out here. Okay. So let's do the cutting board. Okay, now let's pound the venison. And where do I wash the there it is. Wash the tails. Please seat yourself. Nice work. Sensors indicate the problem squatters have been removed. Check in with me this from time to time. This is smelling delicious. Let's add more flavor with some salt and pepper now. Okay, where is the salt and pepper? Oh. These robots oh, sure make no the job reservations. Easier. Okay, I saw the salt was over here. Help yourself to oh, salt. any cable. Oh, I can't Bowl wait pepper. until dinner. Fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. Professional cook. I actually like this mission. This is probably the most fun I've had cooking in this game ever. <laughs> Superb. Oh, God, she's Curie. Okay, um, speak to Esme to finish the soup. Now that your stew is done, it is time to add your own special touch. Nuka Cola. Add a stim pack. Add Psycho. I don't have any Psycho, it says. You got Psycho? I got Psycho, don't I? No, I just got Psycho Buff. Psycho Buff didn't I count. There's a chess <laughs> set around here if you ever want to play. Feels like I've died and gone to heaven. Uh, we're hell. Complete the Look recipe. The Do I have to stir? Okay, so I can go and find something. Please have it a shouldn't seat. Burn. Someone right, where's the chem station? will be with you shortly. Do you know where chem station is? I'm gonna make Psycho. I think I have the stuff to make Psycho anyway. This mole rat fight doesn't get infected. <laughs> Hang in there, Hex. I won't let you die on me. How are the folks at Foundation doing? If I wasn't so busy, I'd go that visit them. The miscreant someplace. from Crater scratched my chassis on the way in. How rude! Here and you're it's to raw! You can make it like a battle drug. Please, read me from Beth. Looting. 
Assault. Murder. Force trampling. I hear he loves his stuff. Well, I'm going to be in like a whole crafting room. Here it is. There's the chem station. Drugs. Oh, I don't have the stuff to make psycho. Just psycho buff. I wonder if I could buy some. Medic here sells psycho? Okay. Medic! Give me that psycho. I need it for the soup. <laughs> for the stew. <laughs> it's important. New patient detected. Commencing introduction. We have chems. I'll take all four. Thanks for the chems. It's important. It's time sensitive. <laughs> the stew's gonna burn, even though it's a stew. <laughs> they just kind of bubble after a while. I wish they'd tell us what all of those construction workers are up to. Look at what a mess they're making. They're construction workers. What do you expect? Need to do a bit of shopping. Stupid robot. Look no further than the refined goods and excellent service provided at the White Spring Mall. All right, Esme. I'm gonna add my own ingredient. He said. Like, now that your stew is done, it is time. Yeah, add psycho. That is mm, an interesting Just choice. trust the process. I hope you don't mind if I refuse to taste it. I'm not one for altering my state of mind. Here is your finished stew. Now it is time to feed some of the hungry. I believe you can find the raider and settler representatives raider and in the bar area. You must make a choice. Since there is not enough to feed everyone, I'm afraid. I'll do my best to gather more ingredients so that we can cook again another time. Alright, well if I would have known that I get to feed sweet ass raider and settler representative. Good evening. Our oh, it's or that's lame. I don't want to do an or. I wanted it for me. Um do the settler that'll be funny hey you are you at the refuge we've got people going hungry and too many mouths to feed at well, foundation it's bringing all these damn people to Appalachia that's some food wow. for people this stew sure is something special I guess some people will be happy with it <laughs> I got rep with the foundation <laughs> Less hungry than usual after helping Chef Esme. What? Who are you? Who I I've am seen you doesn't before. matter. I'm just here to keep an eye on things for Meg. Give you a run for your caps. I suppose a nice refuge Our like this. Is what do you want with the refuge? A Nothing but a problem. All it's doing is encouraging new people to come to Appalachia. That's oh, so a good people. thing. If they're too weak to make it on their own, then maybe they shouldn't be the ones to survive. Nah, but then who are you gonna raid, stupid? Sure, whatever. Let them get healthy again, then steal their stuff. Dumbass. I love Esme's cooking. Always a pleasure to see a guest. Okay, so we did that, now we need to do code blue. Code blue! Usually means someone's dying. Alright, so let's see. Medical service. Watoga. Ah, I keep trying to leave Watoga, but they keep dragging me back in. <laughs> This shit, Panda. I keep trying to leave it. They just won't let me. Man, I just can't get enough of these sauces. And I also can't get enough of Nuka Cola. I'm gonna have to take over that bottling plant one of these days and start pumping out more Nuka. Because one can never have enough Nuka Cola. One can never have enough. By the way, good find on the medic. Watoga Emergency Medical Services is here to help. Speak to our friendly automated receptionist for immediate assistance. Watoga EMS is currently experiencing longer than expected wait times. Oh, we thank you for your patience. Oh, Watoga EMS ass. thanks you for letting us help you today. We I'll hold are the door for you. With top of the line medical technology. I wonder if it'll close on Help me. is on the way. Is there safety standards? Oh fuck, there ain't. We'll be with you shortly. <laughs> It's funny. Ch 
chief bot. Sup, chief bot. I'm gonna check your computer real quick for viruses. Yeah. Ah, uh, scattered. Hmm. Scientist. Nope, not even close. It's two for scattered. Or three for scattered, one for sponsored. I'm not a real hacker. Let me try again. Continue. Technically? No, I am just trash at hacking today. What is making that noise? Dirty calls! Get him, big guy. Nothing. So, community. Planted? You wanna hack this? Cause it's being a butthole. <laughs> it ain't helping. Also, I wanna check my skills, see if I can up that thing yet. Open up the perk cards. Ooh. They say spelling is a lost art. That's pretty funny. Let's see. How much did I need to up my really good perks? Strong back these days. Here we go. Uh, oh, God damn it. I didn't hit the can once. I fucking missed. Oh, well, guess it's not all bad. Still got 11 more beers to drink, so I'm sure uh, I'll be taking this before I black out. I'm glad I don't have to have the locksmith ones anymore. I hate that crap. That's a hundred. Auto unlock skill terminal twos and plus three to lock pick and hacking skills. Auto unlock skill three terminals and locks plus three lock picking. So I need 150 more. <laughs> yeah, it's good for now. It's the air of letting a three-year-old smoke in the land <laughs> or in the coal mine. All right, Port Chief. 
This handy unit is ancient. Probably a model or two after the original General Tomex prototypes. I can't even hook him into the rest of the <laughs> Watoga system. Uh, this is ridiculous. We're understaffed and underfunded. When can we expand the maintenance department uh, to more than just me? I'm not the doctor. Every time I even go near the waiting room, the patients swarm me. I'm the only human being who works in the office. So they all just assume I'm in charge. I'm not a doctor. I'm a maintenance engineer. I can't fix broken bones or treat the flu. That's what the handies are for. Safe control. Nice and locked. Where are you, little safe boy? Ooh, antibiotics for free. Oh, Help! yeah, there it is. Stay calm, citizen. Watoga Emergency Services is here to assist emergency you. Emergency Services. Please state the nature of your emergency. Mr. Sparkles is, is in a tree. Citizen, clarify what is a Mr. Sparkles. A cat, and he's in the tree. Guns and bullets, a number one. Cat nice. is in the, the tree. Of hunting. <laughs> That's a great yeah! picture. He shouldn't be in there. The cat should not be in the tree. Is this correct, citizen? Oh no, it's yes! going to shoot the cat or something. Hurry! Citizen. Please stand back. It did. <laughs> it's blasting the cat. No! Situation under control. Cat is no longer in tree. Mr. Sparkles! Aw. I remember hearing that way back. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't realize it said outside. I don't see a problem with letting your kids smoke in the coal mine, though. Get that extra fast black lung. You get to retire sooner. Mmm, <laughs> black lung. It's good for you. Put some air on your tits. <laughs> Uh, just ammo out here. Nice. But at least I found the helipad. Sure, very useful. Shouldn't it be called a vertipad, though? Because they have vertibirds and not helicopters. What are you waiting for? Alright, let's talk to you, Chief. Good day, citizen. Good I day. trust all as well. There's nothing I need done at the moment. Roger, Dodge, Chief. I hear things attacking things. <laughs> Ooh, free right away. My favorite. Well, Chinese bastards. It's them red Chinese. <laughs> I do like that they have like Chinese bots in here that somehow made it to the mainland just to be annoying. Like they do nothing else in this game but be annoying. They're not very effective, even at low levels. Like, I I think I only died to them a couple times. And then once I, you know, became an actual person that could fight, it never was a problem again. Oh, so with the, uh, one of the mods makes the game, uh, uh, shit. Cyberpunk look a little bit better and less... Uh, to describe it it's like this fog that is bright you know what i mean when you play cyberpunk it like has that look about it like visually kind of looks like junk <laughs> there's one i put on uh it's like an enb that makes it look a little cleaner and stuff like that but one of the problems is it, it makes the lights too, too almost too realistic <laughs> and so i actually had to install a flashlight mod so i could fucking see
Oh, street looks like mirrors. Yeah, I think it might be uh, RTX or something that's doing it. But yeah, it makes it so that like if I turn off the ENB, and because uh, you can just flip it with a button, on and off. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, cool, level up. Cover me while I open this pack of cards. Oh wait, it didn't give me a pack of cards yet. Gotta wait. Oh, I guess I don't get a pack. It just made me think there was, because it had the fault boy with his hand raise. When to go? Where do you go? I ain't seen no when to go. <laughs> I like that yours does frost damage. Oh, hey, look. A poor Brotherhood member. Oh, and uh, his buddy with armor. Ah, oh, that's kind of lame that you can't, like, eat his stuff. But, you know, he's probably not a radiant, so... Eat him when you can. Why are rads, like, unavoidable with these bastards? Like, anything I eat, it's always like, here's five rads. Or <laughs> whatever it is, ten rads. Alright, let's kill them all. Hi, Wendigo. She was right. I she was, she was just talking crap. Hit me again. Hit me again. Come on. Let me explode. Oh, I was so close. Alright, no screaming. Eh, it wouldn't let me explode. I got close. I just didn't want to pop. Salisbury steaks, though. I forgot what I was saying. Something about cyberpunk. Is it a baseball punching mod? You know, be cool. It says puncturing rocket mod. So I wonder if it's kind of like, uh, did you see that 50 cal uh, baseball bat that person made a while back? I don't remember if you saw it. So I know I shared it with a bunch of people in bootleg. <laughs> well, I keep looking over like, <laughs> waiting on the response. <laughs> Oh, hi, little bot. Seal team that. Like, mostly these things are definitely just propaganda bots. I'm trying to remember. Um, it had, like, a little steel plate on the bat, and then little, uh, you know, the bullets they use for construction to drive a nail? Like, sometimes 22, sometimes 12 gauge, stuff like that. Instead of, uh... That they use the 50 cal versions of those, and it's like two of them, then a steel plate that goes out from the bat as you like pull the trigger, and then it whacks like with the force of your arm, you know, and everything else, plus the power of those 250 cal rounds. It like this little bit of steel adds a, that extra oomph, and it's like home run every time, like it's just super powerful. I, I'm wondering if the rocket mod for the bat is like similar to that because that'd be great. So I kind of want to try it. Patient information terminal. Error, no connection. Thanks. Useful. What drives a man to be neutral? Oh, whatever I need. So, oh. Oh yeah, I forgot I saw this terminal, but I was like, let's fight first, then come back. I completely forgot it existed. Ooh, fresh box of sugar bombs. Don't mind if I do. Change of procedure. Suzanne. Effective tomorrow, all patients must begin checking themselves out of the hospital once they are deemed no longer critically ill or injured. I am not on Xbox. I'm actually on PC. And thank you for that follow, ATR Mad Dog Trent. Welcome to the home of the Mobile Infantry Trooper. 
Now you want a boss. Um, yeah, I've been on PC. I haven't played an Xbox game since like 2016. <laughs> when my ex-wife has my old Xboxes. <laughs> but whatever, at least my sons get to play on them, so that's cool. Um, this game, I'm pretty sure is cross-platform. I might be wrong. I had a fitty cow on the power fist. Fires every round you can punch. That's what it kind of looks like when it flies out like that, that little bit. That doesn't seem hydraulic. It seems more like how you'd imagine the 50 cal little things would kind of make you go boop. <laughs> it's like the muscles in your arm plus like the force of that impact already would be devastating. You know, it's a big chunk of friggin' metal. But then it goes out that extra inch like it's a little 22s going off or something like that. And then that adds that extra little oomph. Oh, your first time playing? Hey, good time to come and play this game, honestly, because all the changes over the years have made it actually a Fallout game. Because <laughs> when it first came out, it was kind of just a mess. It also, it was a PvP nightmare. Like, if you don't enjoy PvP, it was not fun back then. I enjoyed PvP, and uh, I got my crap pushed in a lot. <laughs> I did a lot of pushing in other people's crap, but, you know, that was back when you had to build your base to, like, keep other players out and junk like that. Like, it, it was a different time. Very wholesome game nowadays. <laughs> Plus, now that there's NPCs, like I said, it's a lot more of a Fallout game. I think it's fun. Like, because I, I took a break for like five years from this game, four years. And then uh, when I came back, honestly, it's been a blast. I, I came for the Christmas stuff because my Fallout 4 that was modded for Christmas wasn't working properly. And when I swapped to this instead, uh, it was a blast. Like, we actually had a lot of fun. Um, effects of tomorrow, injured. Uh, as resources and manpower have been diverted towards the war effort, we've become overwhelmed with patients waiting uh, in the emergency room and not half as many medical bots and supplies as we need to treat them. We realize that reprogramming the bots to discharge patients sooner than normal may feel distressing. But after careful consideration, the Watoga Emergency services administration has determined there is no alternative please ensure all patients are sent home with their new urgent patient discharge instruction packets uh, located in supply closet ah oh, so that's where they are thank you for all your cooperation and swift compliance personal logs ironic mom told me not to take this job hell everyone else did too what would make a nurse leave the bedside and start fooling around with robots, they would ask. It's hard to explain to people after that after 20 years of working in hospitals all over the country, I wondered if I'd have better luck getting the robots to listen to me than I ever did with the doctors. So, so far, so good. It was pretty cool. Now, this isn't your first Fallout game, is it? Can you show me the ropes? Um, nah, I'm on the main quest. I I'm almost, uh, actually out of the region. Like, I'm in, like, endgame territory. Uh, for that, you might want to find someone, um, close to your level. So when you spawn in, you'll end up being able to join groups. But if you just follow the quest, you'll, you'll run into other people around your level. And they'll be able to help you out a lot more than I will. Because I still haven't beaten the game either. <laughs> so, I'm getting close. Uh, complete reports. Okay, this is total bullshit. I got shot in the leg like seven hours ago. I called the automated phone line, and it told me to come here. Then I was told to fill in the automated medical report, but the s servers, uh, I almost read it as servers. <laughs> servers were down, so they told me to talk to the front desk. Oh, so what I was getting at with that, now I'm thinking about it. So when you do the main quest now, there's a actual tutorial missions like it kind of runs you through how the game works in every way like when i first started there wasn't really that it was more like this is how you craft all right cool you made water you made food now go explore like it was a lot more open now it's a lot more like this is actually how you play and survive and live and it's a good time honestly i highly recommend doing that for yourself like instead of rushing through or whatever like take your time read what they're telling you and it'll really show you the ropes really well and you'll level quick as it progresses like it's very 
Like, I'm getting to level about every two or three quests. Like, if that. You'll probably finish the day at, like, level 25. Like, trust me. Trust the process. It's just like lifting. <laughs> you just gotta keep at it. And you'll get some big damn guns like me. <laughs> but the robot at the front desk is at the repair shop. So I talk to the robot at the repair shop. And he tells me to fill out a goddamn report on it. How the hell do I talk to a real person around here? I'm literally bleeding from my leg right now. City of the future my ass. I should have stayed in Morgantown. How do you get shot in the leg here? Uh, 38. You guys really need to change your policy on what's considered to be a minor fire. I ran all the way over here to fill out a fire incident report, but your protectrons left because the fire was small enough for me to handle myself. By the time I get back, the fire was a lot bigger than I had to run back and fill out another fire incident report. By the time the protectrons came back again, my apartment was completely destroyed. Thanks for nothing, jerks. So with that, I would say do it like uh, we used to do with Blackhawks uh, in the military. You always say the patient is worse off than they are, uh, but you also say that there's no one shooting at you <laughs> so that they fly. Even though they'll hear the gunshots over the radio, I mean, get the medical care. <laughs> they got gunners on those things. They'll be fine. <laughs> All right, uh, 42. I don't think this automated medical report system... Wait, wait, wait. I don't understand this automated medical report system at all. What if you have more than one symptom? Why do you have to fill out a report in person after filing one... Uh, uh, filling one out over the phone? Why can't somebody else fill the form for me? Why are there literally no humans working at this place? I got hit by a bus last month, and I almost died because of all the goddamn bureaucracy involved in getting treated uh, here. I'd rather call Robco technical support than deal with these, this hellhole again. Is anybody even reading these complaints? That's pretty funny. Alright, 49. Oh my god, why are you making me type this right now? Seriously, my head hurts. Please help me. Aww. Oh. That's someone with a brain injury. <laughs> 57. So I filled out a burglary report last week and even sent an image uh, of the guy from my security cam. There we go. <sighs> security camera. I was told to come in today to identify the culprit. First of all, the projection shot and killed the guy instead of taking him into custody. Secondly, it was the wrong guy. Thirdly, it was my next door neighbor. I mean, we weren't best friends or anything. But what the hell? What kind of operation are you guys running over here? I've heard stories, but this is the biggest display of gross incompetence I've ever seen. If I see the real thief around, I'm taking care of it myself. Purge complaint database. Invalid error. Okay. On to the quest. <laughs> yeah, I would say, see, looking at this, it's kind of like how I was explaining that bat. Okay, we can just leave. I kind of want to see what's upstairs. Yay, the roof. <laughs> We're going to jump. 10 out of 10. <laughs> a fungin. Ooh, free stuff. And some ash. Cotton candy. Some free vodka. Panic can even get some worms from that lovely bed over there. Oh, you need any T45 pieces? <laughs> free T45, yeah. Oh, an iBot that's friendly. Look at that. They ain't trying to kill us. Alright. I can survive it. 
Now you try. <laughs> I like that you added the jump. <laughs> well, at least you landed where I was hoping you would. Alright, where next? Bus. <laughs> yeah, now we're cooking with parkour. <laughs> Come on, Pandy, you can do it. Don't be a wuss. It's like 10 feet. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to full on miss because you're sprinting. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, it wants us to go back in here for something? Shit. Watoga Emergency Medical Services is here to help. Probably because I forgot to check out the janitor closet or the supply closet that had the thing. Whoops. I'm so citizen. ready to leave. <laughs> Thank you for dropping by. Wait. I'll let you know if there's further need of your service. Oh, it's literally right here. This doctor bag. There we go. Me getting uh, discombobulated and forgetting where I am. What else? No. Watoga Emergency Medical Services is here to help. Speak to our friendly automated receptionist for immediate assistance. Watoga EMS is currently experiencing longer than expected wait time. We thank you for your patience. Watoga At least I'm not getting uh, attacked by robots every two seconds anymore. That part's nice. Top of the line medical technology. Help is on the way. Please check in with our automated staff and we will be with you shortly. Not usually one for whitelists, but I'm glad I'm on this one. <laughs> I'll have to make some more tea in a minute. The White Springs decor is refined and decadent. Don't listen to any naysayers. Your mom's refined. Okay. Always make sure to boil your water. Rucker said to be looking for you. I <sighs> hope you were able to track down those patient care instructions. Yeah, I got your stuff. Why do you need this info? Well, Appalachia's never really given the responders any breaks, you know? There's so much we don't know how to treat. Sometimes it's hard to know if we're even treating the right thing. With how many sick and wounded we get coming in here, we need every advantage we can get. And the information you're bringing us provides us that advantage in a big way. All right. Anyways, yeah, I got it. Wow. I wish we'd had this kind of information from the beginning. We'd better start looking it over. Thanks for getting this back to us. The responders won't forget it. So Don't we're bother that. talking to I that person from Crater. Move towards, Nasty uh, bunch, aren't they? I could really use a drink, but Rucker wants us sober on the job. There's no problem too big to solve. Oh yeah, you should be sober if you're working. Dummy. We could always use Correcting an your extra own hand around here. There's a lot of supplies here that look ripe for the picking. If you see anything <laughs> that requires attention, do let me know. <clears throat> I wanted to break this stuff down. Oh yeah, right in here. I was just about to look like, where was this again? <laughs> I wonder if they have any chems laying around here. Nothing like the feeling of a good job done well. Look at the ailments on these refugees. That must be a real hellhole. Buddy. Hey there. Don't think we met. I'm Skippy. Skippy Rorich. Damn Something Skippy. I or the <laughs> Union can do for you? Uh... Is your name really Skippy? You don't look like a Skippy. What's a Skippy look like, huh? Call me Skippy. Hey there, sport. What brings you back my way? 
What's a Skippy look like, huh? Call me Skip if you like that better, or whatever you want. Just don't call me Mr. Rorich. Never felt right that. Took me weeks to get that Orlando character to stop doing it, at least in my face. Okay. So what's all this about the Union? The Union is a sort of a... I guess you might call us a confederation, or a resistance. People banding together for defense. See, there's a group in the pit. Calls themselves fanatics. All they care about is conquest. They want the whole pit for themselves. They roll into your area. You either join them, they force you to labor for them, or they kill you. And they're coming for everybody. The Union's the only thing standing between them and their total conquest of the pit. As much as we're able, anyway. Okay. Here you're looking for people to help out. That's right, looking for someone to help us take the fight to the fanatics. Surprised we got a Fun. taker, actually. You are interested, right? Hell yeah, I like a good fight. What's it like in the pit? Bad. Don't get me wrong, it's home, and I want us to keep it. But we got hit bad in the war, and we've never recovered. Lots of radiation. Some areas are badly toxic, with all the junk that got blasted into the air or spread around from the factories. People are sick a lot, from one thing or another, and food can be hard to come by. Hell, some of the city's still on fire, I think. But some of the factories survived, and we got them running. Gives us access to things you can't get anywhere else. Might even be able to rebuild, if it weren't for the fanatics. Gotcha. We the fanatics. Hell, you've got raider gangs here, right? I've heard about your blood eagles. The fanatics are something like them, but more organized. Imagine every single raider gang you've ever heard got together and decided to make like Genghis Khan. Sweep <clears throat> over everything. Nice. Kill anyone who won't join. And put like anyone that. too weak to fight into forced labor camps. Everything that's not theirs they take. That's the fanatics. And be glad they're not here. Makes sense. Okay. If the pit's so bad, why not leave? Because it's home, damn it. Mine, ours, all of us who were born and lived there before and after the bombs. Ain't that enough? If the fanatics are out of the picture, we can rebuild. Make something out of it again. It doesn't have to stay like it is. If that ain't enough for you, picture this. A horde of fanatics, hundreds, thousands strong, setting their sights here. Sound like something you want? It is pretty close, actually. It's within, I think, three to four hours? Of a drive, at least, because <laughs> that's how long I used to, have to drive to work. Whenever they would call me in. Tell me more about what I'd be doing first. The Union's back's against the wall. We're doing our best to hold off the fanatics. Actually, no, I'd Keep say them two from hours. taking everything. Occasionally, we win not... some small victories, but not a lot. Baltimore. Got a couple of situations back there right now where an extra hand might tip things in our favor, at least for now. I don't want to call it mercenary work. But I'm not gonna lie. You'll be going there to fight. That sounds good. That sounds so good. I'm so Fantastic. Ready. Let me just get Rucker in here. It's her bird, after all. Thanks for coming by, Rucker. Looks like we got a volunteer to take a trip out to the pit. We've but met. Had a feeling you might be up for this when you came by earlier. Guess I was right. Figured you should be involved, if we're gonna borrow your plane. Don't let Lennox hear you call it a plane. She takes it personally. <laughs> anyway, sure thing. I guess you've already got all the ultra cells you need. I know you've got mine. Sophie and Esme tell me you helped them out too, so I expect you got theirs as well. All right, I got another question first. Fair enough. What do you want to know? Uh, so do you only fly the pit when you find suckers like me? I prefer volunteers to suckers. I'm not running some kind of scam here. The answer is no, by the way. We run some regular sorties, trade some supplies, carry messages. Our radios don't reach that far, so communications out of us are waiting for caravans. Okay. What are the responders getting out of this? Well, uh... Well, I can answer that, Skippy. First of all, we've got refugees here from the pit. People who've made it all the way down on foot or in caravans. 
And the best way to help that situation is to help people not need to flee the pit in the first place. Second, the Union's the best chance of stability the pit's got. The responders don't just want a triage in the world. We want to help it rebuild one day. We'll need allies to do that. Makes sense. It doesn't hurt that we've got factories that can still make manufactured goods either. No, it does oh, not. Okay. I thought they like leveled the city. All right, gotcha. I think that's all the questions I have. All now. right. All set. Got everything? Uh, what specifically am I going to do there? Well, we got two different locals I know are in need of help. Locals are what we call union groups that act independently. Local oh, 42 is in the industrial yeah, district. Say, Hacks their leader is struggling to keep her people alive. I'm and glad they, they kept the union the stuff fanatics. going. We got another over in I the trench it. working against a fanatic forced labor camp. Danilo is your contact there. Haven't heard from the other locals recently, but I'm sure we'll be hearing from them if they got trouble too. It's up to you who you want to help right now. Maybe you'll consider going back again later for the other. With me. No can do, sport. I'll go back one day, but right now, I'm more use here, rustling up support to send back there. I'm not young enough to be much use on the front lines anymore. I've got everything I need, I'm ready to go. Great. This means a lot to the Union. I'll make sure you're well rewarded for it. I might have some other things I need help with here in Appalachia, too. I'll let you know. Good luck up there. We're counting on you. Damn. So speak to Lennox. Almost mixed some Carmex in with the medics. Who labels these things? Let's grab real quick before we go. So it's already done. I heard a bunch of nerds arguing over comic book heroes yesterday. Aren't there more important things to worry about? No, let them worry about comic book heroes and who's best. That's how we used to pass time in the army. The Batman always wins. He's like a... Uh, what's his name? Fucking McAllister. <laughs> Given enough time, Batman always wins. He just needs that prep time. I still want to see a movie where uh, Kevin McAllister goes against a fucking predator. <laughs> Shooting it. <laughs> Nothing like the roar of these engines. Oh, what the fuck was that? Did your screen just go red or was that just me? Right, Lennox. Whoa! Hey, now you look interesting. What's Might up? Have been an assault run. I'm Lennox. Okay. Oh yeah, if it nuked. Oh. Uh, have you been to the pit before? First place we checked out after we got the old girl working again. Far enough to prove her out, close enough for our fuel. The city's in bad shape. 
Real bad. Of course, I only saw it from the sky, mostly. I stay with the bird and leave the hiking to others. They only shot at us a little when we flew over. Not too bad. Nothing she can't handle. We got a safe LZ now, so that shouldn't happen again. Probably. <laughs> I like that answer. This thing's actually going to get us all the way to the pit. Fully fueled up, she'll get us there, no problem. Us and any friends you want to bring along. And back, in case you were worried about that. Unless someone hits us with an RPG or something. I'm like, um, 85% sure that won't happen. <laughs> okay. You're my ride. Yeah? Let's go. Right on. About time we made another trip out there. I mean, me and my girl here. You haven't been, I guess. Rucker said somebody be coming by. Mm. Guess you're it. If you're all set, I'm ready when you are. Assuming you got the ultrasight battery cells for this beauty. I'm a miracle worker in the sky, but even I can't make a fly on willpower alone. Obviously, you don't have enough willpower. Remember, anytime <laughs> you want to take a trip, we're going to need a full load of those ultrasight battery cells to power this beauty. If you need more, check with those busybodies downstairs you got this batch from. There's always something they need every day. I'll be here when you're ready to go. All right, cool. Survivor groups beyond Appalachian have made contact. Travel to the new territories and help rebuild the wasteland. Vertibirds are standing at the... Standing by at the White Spring Resort for travel to expedition locations outside Appalachia. Vertibird travel requires fully charged ultrasight batteries cells. Cells are filled by completing refugee, uh, sorry, refuge daily quests. Team leaders can assemble groups and use the map to begin a new expedition. Teams may return to Appalachia and resume the same expedition at any time. We're going to beat it in one go because we're awesome. Before we go, though, I am going to go make some tea. Wait, what the fuck? I think I literally have to use the map. <laughs> That's lame. Yeah. All right. So it wants me to use the map instead of interacting with the bird. Okay. So I can pause right here. I will be right back. Look at that. She gave us a map. Some How nice. <laughs> What's in Bladehenge? Bladehenge is the center of the human resistance movement. Aha! Army headquarters, huh? Well, right now the army is just Lars, his sister. Into the light. Follow your turn signal towards the light of the metal gods. It always shines on your current mission. And me. What? Come on. Lars is a great leader. Truly inspirational. I'm so sorry. What are you practical setbacks an army needs food shelter what what no way i was perfectly fine that was bullshit that was garbage game knows it i know it that was trash that made no sense Fuck. <laughs> oh, i'll figure it out later Oh wait, you're friendly. I almost popped him in the back of the neck. You gonna get chipped, old bitch ass baller! Never trust the baller, huh? Crap, 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 crap. Oh. Maybe the pistol. I mean, I like the shotgun. The shotgun's honestly awesome. I forgot how much I love it. Oh yeah, that's how you duck. Okay. Send him back! I need some grenades. I feel real good. Okay, now I'm shooting my crap. This is the other crap of birds. Is that my body armor gun? Is that what that is? Because I completely forgot about body armor. No, I did buy some. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 
got a real gun. Oh, it's got pretty good sights. I mean, Russian good. We gotta go, man. Move. This is fucked. Bang this motherfucker. Man, they hard for you, homie. Oh god, am I on fire? What the? Come on, game. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I was that close to the fire. God, it's just like freaking The Witcher. You get a little bit near fire, and all of a sudden, it's like you can't do anything. Pop you see that? Wild. <laughs> I mean, the first episode was literally him in a, a mental asylum. <laughs> What's coming out of the bubble? There we go. <laughs> it's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Jeez. I don't want to die. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? I guess it caused fear in the enemy. Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Well, I've been saving this for something. Alright, alright, you know what? You get that one. Block that. Bitch. Uh, nice try. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a lot. Where the hell is it? Down here? What the hey, you get down now. Obey us and live. Or forget it. Get back down there. I got an invisible gun again. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, okay, this is that room. Okay, I know where this is. <sighs> all right, that should be all the guards, as far as I can tell. Skylight is moving, huh? I'm gonna be a great nap mess. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Chappie yet? <laughs> <laughs> he had the sleep. <clears throat> okay. I am back. So, yeah, do I just use the map to do it instead of riding the vertebrate all cool and stuff in a cinematic way? Damn it. <laughs> That's kind of lame. Start a new expedition. Hit. Union dude. Match to fire, union dues, industrial district, the trench. I guess we'll try this. Fly to foundry, help the union stave off annihilation. Sounds like fun. You can only make specific type of team to run them. Eh, fuck that. <laughs> Running specific teams for losers. That think too hard. We're here to win. We're gonna fight. We're gonna win. Oh, cool. Are we in like drop pod type shits? All right, that's kind of neat. <clears throat> Property of the U.S. Air Force. I am not dressed for this. <laughs> Unlike you.
Leader will only use the interqua intercom and request land. Touching down. This thing on? Hey, I'm Hex, leader of the local 42, a union cell in the area. Skippy said that you're coming to help. Maybe with you here, we can finally pull off a raid on the fanatics occupying our foundry. So first, well, meet me on the ground and I'll fill you in. Sugar to my teeth today. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. No need to make specific teams or none of that. If people want to come, they'll come. If they don't, they don't. We'll win. I might have to put on my power armor, though. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'll probably do that. I can get the full force of my power. Oh, it's about the reward. Eh, fuck rewards. If, if we get it, we get it. It's, for me, it's more about the story. Now, is that Brotherhood All or... Systems, nominal, I'm curious about weapons, that. What is Brotherhood? Hot. How come I don't have that? What is that set? Phew. That, uh... Well, it's no Appalachia. Also, I like that your neck is exposed. <laughs> it's funny. Everything else covered completely. You even have a hood. And then your neck is just like, hi. Cram, cola, tuna can, hope. Going to supply run, pick these up if you do. Damn, I'm glad I upgraded this earlier. <laughs> Oh, a bag of chlorine. That's new. <laughs> I'm going to make so many chlorine gas bombs. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Douchebag. All right, where's my hammer? Am I really overweight right now? God damn it. Over here! Wait, scoped lever action? Alright, I'll take that. Compensated. Sup, Hex? So you're the one Skippy sent, yeah? I'm Hex, leader of the Union's Local 42. We spoke on the radio as you flew in. I've been doing the rounds, meeting our informants, people on the inside helping us stay one step ahead of the fanatics. Just got word that they're getting a shipment into the supply depot up ahead. The stores they have in there could feed us for a week. I have another spy to meet elsewhere in the city, and I'm already running late. How do you feel about raiding a supply depot? Sounds like fun. Uh, what do you think about the next? It's not a strong enough word. Those jagoffs have their minds set on making this place <laughs> a living hell for everyone outside their little cabal. We have to take it back. No hesitation, no mercy. Not for them. They really did do some of their research when it came to the voice lines in this game, I will say. Because saying Jagovs is very Pittsburgh kind of area. Like, my dad used to say that shit. The other funny thing my dad used to say is, instead of me and my buddy are joking with each other, or whatever you would say, he would say, I'm just jerking him off. And when I first met him, because I was 20, yeah, around 20 when I first met him, I never heard anyone say that about each other, so I was just like, like, I'm glad my dad's gay, but, like, why do you keep going on about it? <laughs> For, like, the first week, I couldn't figure it out. He's like, I'm just jerking him off. Or, he'd be talking about me, and he's like, I'm, I'm just jacking you off. And I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then I realized, oh, it means I'm kidding. Like, there was, like, a minute where I was just like, okay, that explains why you, uh, <laughs> Aren't with mom, I guess, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Other than him being kind of a turd. 
and drunk. All right. Tell me more about fanatics. The fanatics think they own this place and everyone in it. The raiders, tyrants, and more. Used to be just a bunch of small gangs who couldn't do any real damage by themselves. Until some great leader showed up and united them. Life in the pit's never been the same since. Who's the great leader? Well, that's the funny thing. We know they have one. At least they say they do. But we have no idea who they really are. Nobody does. I'm not even sure the people at the top know who really runs the show. I have to admit, it's savvy of them. You'd better believe we'd be hunting their leaders down if we knew who the hell they were. They'd do the same Makes to sense. me. All right, the spies inside. That's right. The hardest job a unioner can do, but one of the most important. My informants help keep us a step ahead of the enemy, but they risk their lives and humanity every single day. All right, I'll handle it. Huh. Looks like I can really count on you. The depot is just down the road. The supply shipment should be inside, but it's heavily guarded. If you can secure it and send a signal to our scavenger team, they can come in to retrieve the cargo after you've cleared out the guards. Alright, I need to get moving. Give them hell and show no mercy. Let's talk again when you're through. There's no mercy in this dojo. Alright. Where's, uh... Let me get rid of my rads real quick. Something's lurking. I can feel it. Oh, I need to drink water. Well, shit. <laughs> Gotta hurry. It's my purified water. Yes. Oh, wait, there it is. Never kill us all. Going dark. I have all the time in the world. Okay. Get after this. The struggle. I forgot I'm still so overweight. Whoa, what the I fuck was alive. that? Just like teleported into a wall. Alright. A little discombobulating. Oh, disorientating. Love it, love it. Sup, Raider Scum. That's a nice outfit. <laughs> You think you got me? Was it worth it, boss? The audio in here is not quite working good. Weird. I'll pick you into part P! <laughs> You're acting like this was going to be so hard. Here, I'm going to jump out of the armor for now. We'll see if I die. Then I'll pop into the armor. <laughs> Another day. When will it end? That people make crew Stay still. Rewards, so. This won't hurt a bit. Yeah, but that to, to me it sounds like code Master. for we need to be fast and get the thing and all this other shit. I feel like we could do just fine like this. Wait, is my shit disabled? I can't super jump? Yeah, my symptoms are suppressed. Lame. Right, let me at least kick on my music. Get 
Just punch him in the balls. <laughs> I don't know why I said 0% when I was a foot from him, but okay, game. <laughs> Having regular jumps again is so weird to me. For that final word. Grand finale, that was it. Dark. <laughs> All right, that was a little funny. All right, so there's no drop on this cannon. Good to know. <laughs> it's fun, but it takes too long. Getting a bad feeling. Was it worth it, boss? These enemies are pretty pathetic, to be honest. There's just lots of them. Let's get to it! Finally, we fall. The strong survive! No fight or fight here! Only fight and die! Just shot blooper at me. What the hell is it? This, this is why I joined up. Oh, there he goes. Back to you, fuck. Oh, there he is. We fall. The strong survive. This sounds like you did. Like I can't hear that minigun really. Can't jump. Man, this is like having no jump at this point. Like that was like a baby lip, and I couldn't even get over it. Barely hear him shooting. Like this is weird. Yeah, afterwards, you'll have to explain to me what what they did differently to get more rewards. Like, is it just numbers or do they have specific perks that give you like more cap or blah blah blah? Will help replace what was stolen. Arrows. That's a relief. Head back to the pen and we can talk about hidden found you next. Domination. Union scavenger.
Get back out here and fight. Yeah, here, prick. I don't see a prick. How are we ever going to clean up this mess? Well, I guess not. What? Okay, Something's so when you create a team, the last oh. if you want a casual exertion is the ops one. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. <clears throat> we could always change up the team, I guess. It just says bonus to endurance. Is that really what we want? Like, does that help? Or is it expeditions? Expeditions. Never mind. I figured it out. Four times bonus. Ooh. It feels like they put more effort into it, though. I will say, like, as far as, like, somewhat the way it works. Another day, another ad and again, I haven't done a bunch of uh, daily ops in years, so... Any effort feels like more effort. There's fanatics out there just waiting to have their death wishes. Alright, Hex. Got your shit. Maybe I should have gone south with the others. Did you talk to me? I keep clicking the button. I'll admit, I have my doubts about getting me. outside help. But you really showed up out there. That makes me feel better about sending you inside the foundry. The place is crawling with fanatics. It's like a pest infestation, but worse. Pests don't kidnap our people. Yeah. So what is this place? Pen? It's a union base. A temporary one, at least. By now, the fanatics hold most of the better secured areas in the pit. You and I do our jobs well, then someday we can move next mean. door okay. into the foundry. Well, I changed the text, but it's just, that should help us down, a little bit. Yeah? Alright, what is the foundry? The foundry is, was, what it sounds like, a metal foundry. Before the war, it made steel products. After the war, it became a union base, the home of a local 42. That is, until bloody Thursday, when we lost it to the fanatics. Now it's a fanatic base. A fortress they're using to wipe us out, bit by bit. Sip and eggs are kidnapping people. They're rounding up anyone who can't defend themselves, forcing them to do manual labor. If I had it my way, I'd give them all a molten hot taste of their own... Sorry, I didn't mean it. No, no, if you want to throw him into the slag pit, I fully support that. That's pretty awesome. It's pretty raider of you, but also pretty awesome. Right ahead inside. What's the operation all about? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. The foundry used to be ours, you know. The old hands hid caches around the place with all their important schematics and planning docks. We still have tracking signals we can use to hunt them down. And that's where you come in. Thanks for doing this for us. Your raid will give us some time to collect ourselves. Get back on our feet. Before you head out, you might want to talk to our guy Wicker. Heard he needed help with some things that he can't see to himself. Watch I do. yourself in there. We'll hold the fort and make sure no surprises head your way. Good luck. All right, thanks. I do like that uh, with some of these dirty faces, you can tell who cries and who doesn't. Ready to get this ball rolling or <laughs> like they had some tear droppage, and that's why there's a clean spot on their face, like in certain areas. <laughs> All right, the plan. I don't care about what anyone says. We're taking the foundry back. Best defense is a good offense. All right, thing. Uh, taking the foundry back. The other locals can say what they want about numbers and rations. The 42 ain't no pushovers. And besides that, we've got the brains, don't we? 
Uh, don't they all say that's what keeps us in the game? The longer we let those bastards occupy means of production, that's the more awesome. edge we lose in this fight. Ours. I mean, a uh, working foundry in our hands, pumping out all the gear we could ever want. And meanwhile, the fanatics are sitting on this gold mine brewing chems and sticking them in weapons. Oh, great. <laughs> the thought of our POWs are going through and, and there makes my blood boil. So no more staying on the defensive. If we're going out, <coughs> we're going out with a bang. <coughs> You're right, kid. Jeez, that was a cough. Anyway, supplies. They hit us hard this time. Uh, right where it hurts. In the stomach. Somehow they found out our food stores. We're only lucky they didn't ha have enough hands to haul off all of it. Still, it's a big blow. That's awesome. Now we're scrambling to refill. Hours. Hitting everywhere uh, in the town that might still have a crumb of unclean food left. Meanwhile, Wicker's got his head up his ass <laughs> and worrying about our steel supplies um weapons and armor don't mean a damn thing if we're too hungry to use them the crew was already restless worn down and now we have starvation hanging over our heads there's gotta be a way out of this that cough is terrible it was a uh, help is on its way I was tough on Skippy when he left us. I knew he had good intentions, yeah, but I didn't think he'd uh, keep his word that he was just running away like the rest of them uh, that went elsewhere. Over the years, There's uh, out there just waiting to have well, I was wrong. He's convinced some folks from Appalachia to come and, and lend a hand. We've lost so many to the promise of that place. It's ironic to think they could save us. Skip says they're battling... Uh, Hardened, I guess, will... I don't know what that means. I'm guessing that's a faction or a certain type of dude. I guess we'll see about that. I thought we had this fight won. Hard to think anyone from down there could be as tough as us. Best but defense is a good From stories offense. he told, freaky red ghoul-like things, monster bats, and nukes mm -hmm. going off all over. Sounds far-fetched. But if even half of that is true, maybe they'll have a fighting chance here in the pit. That's funny. <laughs> they're having constant nuke fights <laughs> and they're doing that on purpose to make giant bats appear and then they kill the giant bats oh finally a stash somehow there's never enough steel to go around in this steel city uh, is there anything I can store I can put down some, some down on shit Oh, wait, no, that's my inventory. <laughs> There's fanatics out there just waiting hey, for their death wishes. Hey, you got time to help me out here? Damn, if they don't work me to the bone in here. Oh, fuck, there it is. I got fuckloads of missiles. I keep picking them up. What is wrong with me? <coughs> She's got that black lung. <laughs> you ain't long for this world, black lung. Put down. Alley. That's a new face? Aw, oh, I can't fit it. That's rare. Shit. Alright, I'm guessing. Somehow I'm there's never enough steel to go around in this steel city. Alright. Oh, up there. Talk to you. Hey, name's Wicker. What's up, Wicker? You look like a new face to me. What can I do for you, new face? What if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Shoot. What do you do around here? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I'm Mr. Oddjob to the crew. Lately, I've been hunting for useful materials. When no fanatics are around, that is. 
what do they call every new? Uh, do you call every new face new face? Yep. I figured that was obvious. <laughs> Why they call you Wicker? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where did you learn your manners? You never ask a man about his name. It just isn't done. Okay. Hey, this is Anything for you, else. new face. Pick said you might need some help. Yeah, if you're up for it. I could always use more pure cast steel ingots. We've also had a supply cache stolen by the fanatics. Yeah, taking that back would be huge. Sounds doable. Tell me about them. Fanatics are always looking for ways to make our lives hell. They're stealing our stuff is a favorite tactic. They have control over most of the city now, so none of our caravans or storehouses are truly safe. <laughs> that means we lose supplies to the <laughs> daily raids all the time. One of our storehouses got hit recently. We know the raiders are keeping what they stole inside the foundry, but we don't have the means to recover them. If, if you could get those supplies back for us, about? <laughs> I forgot it to would look mean at a lot. In the context, I should say. What was that about the slag thing? Talk about these pure steel ingots. This here is the steel city. Or used to be, anyway. Steel is one thing that's everywhere. But we're racing the fanatics to get our hands on the good stuff. See, pure cast pre-war steel with no impurities is worth its weight in gold to us. <laughs> and it's just lying around out there waiting to be picked up. Bring me some of that steel, and you'll have my gratitude. And the rest of the unions. I get you those ingots. It'll keep us alive another day. Thank you. Sincerely. Going? Going? What's that? Hey, kid. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Not him. Ah, thanks. That's our foundry. Ours. I'll be damned. If I get driven from my own home. Damn right. All right, let me just eat this crust real quick and then we'll head out. Never forgive those bastards. Won't give in. Not to the fanatics, not to this place, not to anything. Ah. Maybe I should have gone south with the others. I wish I had a sweet gas mask set, <coughs> set up like yours. So is that a shop item or did you just quest until they gave it to you? Plan wise. Hope those damn things don't find me. Get in a bro. <laughs> Punch me again. Punch me again. I want to blow. It helps if they don't. Pain. Going dark. The plot has a stem pack on it. I take you captive, but we have plenty. Oh, he fucking shot his head off. <laughs> uh. 
You got an extra. Which thing? Oh, quest. What is that? Healing. Okay, so that's what stealing needs to be look like. Neat. Ew. You won't stop wheezing. on our spies' dead drops before the fanatics dig them up. Tune into our signal and track them down. Yeah, so if you got an extra one and you feel like giving it, I will take it later. So I can run around looking all cool. <laughs> it almost looked like Umbrella. I think why I like it so much. Something's lurking. I can feel it. More targets! <laughs> 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 You made me nuke twice. <laughs> uh, you. I almost All punched right, you in the face. Scum, stay alert. Prep's almost done on the chem weapon, but don't slack off. The There's something else still next door. For now. I take you captive, but we have plenty. Besides, more fun. Ah! How dare you! Oh, she's up there. Oh, okay. Pain. Roach. Time to squash ya! Hostile target detected. Finally, the struggle is over. Chemist orders. The boss wants us mixing day and night. No rest. We'll turn those Union rabbits into pace with the weapons we make. And if that's not reward enough, the bonus is two servants from from the pens. Your pick. As for the kill counts, you'll get credit for every bunny and our soldier poach with your weapon. That's the sweetest deal. The pit are in the pit, so make sure you mix chems right. Mix your chems right. Uh, one wrong dose, and the whole operation goes in, up in toxic, choking smoke. <gasps> and you with it. <laughs> Damn hiccups. What's your favorite gang of raiders here in New Columbus? Disciples? They love violence. They gotta be the most violent gang here in New Columbus. The operators? <laughs> well, they are good with money, and they love their money. The pack? Man. I <laughs> play chess with bullets. I like it. Three bullets. Oh, there's 
there for a second. Hey, my fucking super bouncing is back. screws. Nice. This will be <coughs> over before it starts. <coughs> you will be back into <coughs> Why we fight? When you feel that the walls are closing around you, remember why we fight. Look to the left and right, a fellow human being, working in unison to achieve our goal of a peaceful tomorrow for Pittsburgh. Look out the window at the chaos below. We can push back the forces of evil. Clean up our city and restore order, but we need you to do it. Remember the children hop hoping for a better world to grow up in. Remember our friends who have lost their freedom to the dominant force of evil. Remember the dead who gave their lives so that we can emerge victorious. The deck has always been stacked against us, but we never go down without a fight. So keep your chin up and soldier on to a better Pittsburgh. That's cool. That's cool. Guess Panda shot the guy that was uh, trying to stop me from reading. All <laughs> before the fanatics! Bam! Bang! Quiver. I guess so. <laughs> Thought I saw one. Feeling it would be something this way. Steel. Sorry, four to five. All clear. E45 helmet. Jumping at shadows <laughs> over here. The chems will make you jittery. <laughs> or was it the jet will make you jittery? They could be crawling in. <laughs> Watch. Nice rocket. <laughs> Alright, 
Five out of five. Really. Steel. Just need this union supplies. Supplies. Things. You think I'm soft? No. Failure. No fight or flight here. Only fight and die. <laughs> No fight or flight here, just fight and die. Like, why would you admit that you're gonna die? <laughs> 16 in and 10 out in the last five days. I know we're not the sanctum, but this pace won't cut it. Weapons testing is taking its toll. Too many casualties, too much wasted labor. There just aren't enough captives to go around in this part of town to be wasting them on some new weapon. And we could just kill Union the old fashioned way. We'll never meet our quotas this way. It's a disaster. I'll need to transfer out labor at this rate, or I'll be next one in independence. That sucks. Alright, I'm guessing it's right below. in here. A little lucky with a note. Don't worry. The fanatics worry, have no idea how to really work the foundry. Sorry, I feel... Instead of steel, they're pumping out chemical weapons from a makeshift lab in the hopper room. We need to melt down what they've already got and make sure they can't produce any more. Even if they do manage to keep the foundry today, Vulcan production would strike a huge blow. Get in there and find a way to wreck that equipment. I'll radio with more instructions. I wonder what this union supplies even look like. I wish I could push them into the uh, slag. That would be awesome. 
dude just fell apart. His armor just broke to pieces. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, hey, look, the scrap station. Cool. It is ours to conquer. <laughs> We need to do whatever we can to trash that chem lab. Nice space. There should be plenty of chemical contaminant lying around the floor into the weapon stockpile. The factory should also be storing sealing agent, which you can use to gum up the distribution station. And the workers there will have unstable mixtures you can add to the testing vat to ruin any R&D they have going. I'm glad my loot gobbling makes me really fast at finding all this stuff. to the distribution station. The Foundry Fanatics won't mess with us again anytime soon. You're a hero, pal. You brought us the time we need to regroup and live another day. Head on back to the pen for a debrief, but don't let your guard down. Never let your guard down. Okay. Still didn't find those uh hey, just went to, what the hell is that? No, I didn't. I'm sure someone you better get here. back here. Fast! I'm trying, this place is confusing. Hey, I think I found the supplies. All right, cool. Good kill, good kill. What? Is it one of those things? Glad I backtracked a little bit then. This way, or is it around the corner? I think it's around the corner. Who did this? <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, I'm just gonna run backwards, we'll see. 
come in or go out the way we came in, I guess. Shit. Another right, here's day. The boundary. When will it end? I think you know what comes next. <sighs> Is it me shooting on your lawn? That's what I was thinking about doing next. get out of here. I want to follow you because this is bullshit. I'm so fucking lost. This shit's confusing. Oh, the key balls. Alright. Cool balls. Anyways. Yeah, sorry. I'm coming. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Stupid exit sign not being lit up. That's like against OSHA. <laughs> also, the fact that the uh, thing was telling us to go through like 100 meters outside the building to get out of the building was a little bit confusing. <sighs> Death to the bloody big head. Hey, Trogs! I was right. What's up, Trog? Oh, wow, you guys are actually kind of tough. They don't move as fast as they used to, though. They used to be very, very, very fast uh, feral ghouls. <laughs> They're fucking creepy. Big mad. I am going to the armor. Cover me for a sec. In the armor. What are you doing? Voice module. Online. Audio functionality test. Initialized. Now I'm doing Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Eradicated. <laughs> they knocked you through the fucking wall. <laughs> All systems. Nominal. Weapons. Hot. Maybe you should close the gates behind you. Guard dudes. Holy shit. I'm no stranger yeah, that last to one horror, really but that was... Guess I've gotten too comfortable. <sighs> You guys kind of sucked. Me and Panda did all the work. As usual. More? Shut the gate! <laughs> I don't know how to shut the gate. Fuck! <laughs> Never mind, just fall back. <laughs> they can have this shit. do for you <laughs> he's stuck cowering oh that's so funny i got your ingots buddy thank you you didn't have to go through with this after what happened i appreciate it okay uh, i also got you. stolen supplies you didn't have to go through with this after what happened what happened, what happened? i appreciate it what the fuck's he talking about All right, bye. later i hope so weird. What a weird interaction that is. Oh, is this that Brotherhood thing? Ooh, I'm gonna be so pretty. Can't wait to put these ingots to use. Those things. <sighs> I get to be the one that is the coolest. Cannonballs. Okay, so I got the mask at least. Not as pretty as I'd want to be, but you know. I just need your outfit and then we're perfect. <laughs> We were hey, taken X. by surprise. Damn it. Yeah, no it shit. Wasn't the victory toast I imagined. <laughs> we lost some good people to those things. Ugh, look, I hope you don't feel responsible. This happened on my watch. It's on me. I feel responsible. suppose you're leaving now, it. aren't you? I mean, yeah, if I did everything. Sorry for your loss. We don't say stuff like that around here. At least I don't. To pretend that losing people isn't just a fact of life. It'd only make things worse. Okay. What were those things? Some kind of wendigo? Wendigos? You mean those things that eat people? I don't think so. Aren't those just a legend? The old hands <laughs> did used to talk about things like them. Boogeyman there crawled around the foundry, taking people in the dark. They had a name, but I don't remember it. Whatever they are, they die. That person that has green eggs and cram. <laughs> hmm. Not that I'm looking forward to more of that. Keeping us all safe, right? Yes, I'm right. Hey, you did a lot for us today. Your raid on the foundry saved us big time. The fanatics would have hit us soon in the worst way, but you bought us some time to regroup. Someday we'll have the muscle to retake our home. Damn right, I, really I kicked the shit out of them. With the help of Pan Pants, we could do anything. Until then, we'll keep fighting, and we'll always welcome your help. I didn't sign up for this shit. You too. <laughs> the fuck are you wearing? Oh, that's not you. I thought you were Panda. Let's get back to the bird. Let's get the fuck out of here. You ready to get airborne? 
Hell of a day and you can tell me all about it when we get back. All right, cool. Yeah, let's go. Hop in and I'll fire her up. <laughs> like how it sounded like we all got gut punched. All right, you know, we fucked up on that last fighter just because it was pathetic and, uh, you know, died. It's not really our fault. I wish there was a way to have actually help them. I kept trying to interact with them to give them stim packs and they were getting low health, but it just wasn't helping. I'm gonna give me crossbow bolts. Disgusting. Maybe make your crossbows not trash, along with your, uh, archery. In general. Okay, so let's do the other one. Oh, that's right. I won't have to talk to you. Start a new one. What is going on? <laughs> Uh, from ashes to fire. Break into the sanctum, a former Union safe house turned into a nightmare. Outside battery not fully charged. Cells are charged by completing refuge dailies. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't do the second part. Like, son of a bitch. Still amazed we got this baby right. I mean, again. that's a little bit that that makes me a little salty. Let me check inside. What? <sighs> Is there like a daily where I know that it's for this? Please, Panda. I need info. <laughs> Is that the only dailies I can do for today? Like, am I just screwed now? Repairs will be completed shortly. Thank you for your patience. I guess there's the daily ops. Okay. So maybe daily ops can help us. No, I meant I meant to do the next expedition. Is there something is there any dailies that you can see that are ready to be done today? That would get us more of that ultrasite battery bullshit. I'm feeling a little grumpy about that. You mean I gotta wait till tomorrow to do more? I don't know, I never do did expeditions much. I could see why. They're kind of annoying. Security patrol status nominal. The That's just obnoxious. I wanted to do at least to both today. Security All of our situation and cottages All are currently being refurbished. Be we are not accepting new reservations at this time. We regret the inconvenience. Please enjoy the results. Medicinal or recreational. No prescription required.
New patient detected. Commencing introduction. We have chems. Medicinal or recreational. Keep the psycho for now. No prescription required. It's a pretty disappointing update. Uh. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that too. And there's another one coming here soon where you can go to, uh, what's that other place called? I forgot what they said it was. They just announced it like two days ago. Oh, fuck, I don't remember. Violation of hotel policies may result in detention. Remove Violation of and hotel policies may result in detention. Remove All right, let me pull out that armor. Sell it. was the wrong thing. Fuck. Oh wait, I can get it back? Never mind. Okay. Alright, cool. Cool. I was like, no, <laughs> it was supposed to be that. This explains why I was so overweight and I was just like, what is going on? I am so heavy today. Survival project of success. You can get a bomber jacket, it's cool. I like the one you gave me though. Yeah, it feels very anticlimactic. I see what you meant by, like, you might want to get the thing ready. The other game, because you're not really going to be able to do much. <laughs> like, you didn't even spoil it, and I was uh, thoroughly disappointed even without the spoil. <laughs> like, fuck, really? I can only do one thing a day? Like, come on. I guess, like, is it just the two? Do more come out? Like, after you do the two, does, like, a third pop up, then a fifth? You know what I mean? Like... Or is it just those two and nothing else? Man, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do all day then? What time is it? Mm. <laughs> Game had so much to do until now. Now it's just like, ha ha ha. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, let me see, I guess. Is there any way to do it? Oh, it does tell you. That's all the dailies you can do. Right. Yeah, let me just go fuck myself, game. How about that? Alright, so I can do events, or I can do daily ops. I think I'll look into the ops, I suppose. And change up our, our team so we're not, like, thinking... Or make people think that we're gonna go back. <sighs> Completing events... Daily ops. Yeah, we can do daily ops. All right, let me whip out the power armor.
You know what I feel like? I feel like those fucking kids that their parents are assholes and they're recording it the whole time. They give their kid, a, you know, let's say a PS4 inside their bir uh, birthday or Christmas present. You know, the box. But inside is actually something stupid like a gift card. You know, you keep digging into box, 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 find a PlayStation. Then maybe you find box, 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 and then a gift card or whatever it might be. Fuck those parents, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Simpsons Hit and Run, though, was really good. <laughs> I liked uh, Road Rage though, personally. Alright, let me uh. Whip out my shit. Just because last time we kind of got our shit pushed in immediately and then started to get our groove when Wookiee showed up. I don't remember the last time I reloaded. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put my ammo away for this. Oh. Okay. Bullets for you. No bullets for you. That's kind of annoying. Okay. That's loaded. Where's my 50 cal? Oh, there it is. Reload you. That's right. Speed reload like your life depends on it. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Hammer it is. Fuck you, mannequin. I repaired this. Is your dodge here? Who got uplinks that have gone dark? Set dodge. Get them operational. We need to know what we're dealing with out there. Why is he moving so fast? Oh, you're so creepy. in first before finding those uplinks. That is ASSP. So hustle. Oh, damn, everything's scooching here today. I think I have a shuffle. I wish all these things would stop freezing me. Initiating signal calibration. It won't take that lying down. Brace yourselves. I didn't even get to swing. On real quick. Why do you not have a backpack on your um, power armor? It's so much better. <laughs> Damn, you were straight shredding them. I don't know what you were talking about when you said doing uh... You said laser guns were fucking worthless in this game. <laughs> You're fucking rocking the fuck out of them. Letting me use my bats on them. Kind of annoying. Some of them are I'm like five of those today. 
Stop walking. Come on, character. You're in power arm. You should be able to lift more than my backpack. <laughs> Stupid fucking even their guns slow me. Cut it out. I'm already slow enough, you bastard. Being rude. as fast as fuck, boy. Looks like trouble, all right. Clean this area out. Let's see what they're hiding. <laughs> yeah, let me try uh, some of here. Coming slowly. <laughs> Thank. Death 
is a preferable alternative to to communism. Sorry, I was so slow, game. I couldn't run faster. Some good money there. But yeah, so those parents that do that sort of shit, though, uh, suck. <laughs> And that's what that that was feeling like earlier. It was straight up like, you know, you're expecting a PlayStation because the box says PlayStation on it. And then what you get when you open it up is like, I don't know, a, a fucking socks. <laughs> I get a taste of the pit, but I can't actually play the pit. I'm a little bit salty. I don't know if you can tell. Anything else to do? <sighs> I've already done basically every um, event. That miscreant from Kratos scratched my chassis on the way in. How rude! I just did the uplink one, right? Yeah, so you can run it again just to do that. It's repeatable. Mr. Makeover, come Sucks. back. All right. Where'd you go? I have no idea. Oh gosh, I hope the window doesn't find out. I'm going to be in so much trouble. The White really Springs decree is there. refined and decadent. Don't listen to any naysayers. He makes a killing selling these raisin guns. And I have no idea what I want to do. I think I might just jump off, to be honest. A little bit salty about that. We'll come back, I guess, tomorrow. Do like the other one, and then we'll run Cyberpunk. And that's all I can think of. So, uh, all right, let me make sure I got my dad advice ready to go. I can't remember if I did this one, so I'm going to guess I'm on that one. <sighs> Mr. Makeover, come back! Where'd you go? Gosh, I hope Orlando doesn't find out. I'm going to be in so much trouble. I really messed this one up bad. All right. I think that's going to be it for me today. Honestly, I wanted to do more, but I mean, there's nothing else to do for right now. Um, it's not really worth just sitting around feeling stupid. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you all had fun. I know I did. Uh, other than that last bit. <laughs> uh, thank you once again to ATR Mad Dog Trent for that follow. Welcome to Mobile Infantry Trooper, now you're one of us. Dad advice for today is, remember, if you feel the need to belittle others, you are walking trash. Especially if you do it to make yourself feel better. Like, if you're hanging out with your friends, and a girl comes by, and you feel the need to put your friend down to make you look better in front of the girl, one, I'm sorry, but women can tell what you're doing, and they're just like, ew, gross, red flag. Uh -huh. But also, you're a giant douchebag. I've had some friends like that. I don't talk to them anymore. Because, honestly, even if I am single, which I was at the time, and they're single, which they were at the time, I wasn't looking for anybody, and even then, I wouldn't put down my friend 
to make myself sound better i would talk them up and be like yeah you should go for this guy this guy's awesome he's good fuck he's got a car and a job i mean that's better than a lot of people sometimes so <laughs> it's so easy to talk up your friends and be a good wingman so be a good wingman and a good person don't just fucking shit on people like yeah sometimes i talk about talk shit about people uh you know like all right if, if i'm talking shit about an actor i don't like like amber heard that's fine <laughs> she ain't gonna lose her millions because i said hey ain't she a piece of shit yeah she sh literally shit on the bed gross <laughs> like what a fucking nasty you know like that's not hurting anybody but if you, like I said, you're next to your friend and you're just shitting on them to make yourself feel better, fuck yourself. Um, and then Panda, if you got any uh, Panda advice, if not, I got a great one that totally sounds up your alley. Do not. Okay. The likelihood of you being taken out by a squirrel is small, but never zero. <laughs> totally sounds like something that Panda would come up with on the fly. And just to knock out a second one, because I've been sitting on some of these, uh, another bit of Panda advice is if you look, or if you can make a lie look better than the truth, people will gladly ignore the truth. <laughs> That's how Vietnam was won by America. <laughs> totally was just a tactical retreat or withdrawal, not a defeat. <laughs> the French were defeated. We decided to leave. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be for me today. I hope you all had a great time. Uh, it's been Beard. Later. <laughs>